What's up guys, Timmy Gamer here and welcome back to another Nice and Dragons video. And I'm here today with T Job. Hello everybody. And today we're gonna be interviewing him at the same time as we're playing Geometry Dash. So this is going to be a little challenge, but I hope I'm gonna be able to make it. So T Job, talk a bit about your channel and what do you do oh. on it? My channel is basically a Knights and Dragons channel, and I that's mainly what I do there. I do a couple other videos, like I did a Geometry Dash one time and a Flappy Fall, but it's mainly Geometry Dash. I mean, <laughs> it's mainly Knights and Dragons. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. I've been doing YouTube, um, I think, for a couple months now. I think I started back in April. 2014. Anything okay. else? No. So, why did... Uh, it's hard to do both at the same time. Did you lose? <laughs> yeah. So, why did you choose T-Job as your name on YouTube? Well, the, f the initial um, of my first name is T, because my first name starts with a T. And my middle name is actually Job. So I'm just like, whatever, I'm, I'll combine the T and the Job and make it T-Job. So I've kind of adapted it from there. It was my PlayStation network name um, for the longest time. And I just kind of used it for my YouTube channel. Oh, nice. So why did you start making YouTube videos? Um, I, I've always, like... I used to watch like big, big YouTubers like Beijing Canadian and like B00 and like big Minecraft YouTubers, right? So I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna figure out how they do this and I'm gonna try it, try it for myself. And I started making Minecraft videos on a, on a really old channel. Unfortunately, you guys can't watch those because the channel is, is banned now. I don't know for why. But yeah, I started watching those and I started creating my own videos and they weren't really popular because, you know, it's like, it's very hard to start YouTube. Yeah. And true. then um, I came across Reversal actually. And I have to thank him very much because he took me under his wing and he gave me a shout out video. And since that shout out video, I've just skyrocketed in subscribers. It's unreal. So I have to thank him very much for that. He's probably one of the biggest reasons I'm successful on YouTube. Oh, that, that's cool. So I wanted yeah. to ask you what was your inspiration, but I think it's going to be re Reversal maybe for making Knights and Dragons content. Yeah, it actually was Reversal. And, and Timmy Gamer. <laughs> Thank you. It, it means a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... So how long does it take you to prepare your videos and edit them? Well, um, preparing videos doesn't take as long as editing. Preparing videos takes like 5-10 minutes maximum. It's just like writing a script sometimes. If it's like you're um, doing some news, you just write a little script to help you remind you what to say. And other than that, it's not doesn't take too long recording the actual video is based on how long the content is and it varies but the editing is probably what takes the longest time because I use two different programs so I need to use the recording program to record my video and then it exports that and that takes a long time maybe yeah like. exporting sometimes can take uh, hours even yeah so depending how long the video is, like if it's uh, like more than 20 minutes, it sometimes takes like an hour to an hour and a half. It all depends on your computer too. So um, for me, usually my like five minute videos, it takes me like to upload it completely. It takes me like an hour. Okay. Uh, and the rendering is long also uh, of your final video? Yes, that takes longer than the exporting. 
because you do the edits and the cool animations and the text. Okay, so you just posted a video recently on your channel about making profile pictures for line and stuff like that. So how long d does it take you to make these uh, awesome pictures? Well, when I record it, because I have to like prepare the recording and everything, um, it usually takes me like around 10, 10, 15 minutes. Of course, in the video, it's a lot um, faster because you I do something. I, yeah, I time lapse it, so it's a lot faster there. So like one minute in the video is like three minutes in real life. So it's it's like 10, 15 minutes per image. Okay, that's nice. And what programs did, do you use? Because I think I saw in your videos three uh, different apps. Yeah, I I make I here I'll just pull them up right now. So usually, um, I have six six programs that I use, but I usually just use four of them. So one of the big ones that helps me out a lot is um, PixArt, and it's spelled P I C S A R T, and that basically helps me overlay other pictures on top of pictures so that's one that's a big one another one i use is avery a v i a r y and that just helps me enhance like how how the armor looks um before i put it into any program another big one which has a lot of the effects on it is space effects and that has like the little cool stuff and I use that at the end of the video to overlay another image and then it, it just gives it a cool effect. And the last one is Be Funky, which um, puts the text on it and um, the effect I use to make, like, it kind of makes it like it's made on paper almost. So those are the four that I use the most. Oh, nice. So and they're all, they're all free too. On the app store so for how long do you think you'll you'll still be doing some youtube videos um to be honest um i think i'm just gonna go with the flow and i'm just gonna keep on doing youtube videos i will probably stop maybe in a couple of years because obviously i'll go to university and and like grade 12 and stuff like that and i won't have enough time but as of right now i have loads of times on my hand i'm still quite young so i don't have the worries of a job or anything so i have a lot of free time so i can still make videos so don't worry guys it'll be quite a while before i die down <laughs> so what's your favorite uh, ios game apart from knights and dragons apart from knights and dragons Yes. Oh, I was gonna. I was gonna say Knights and Dragons. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I recently started a new game called Boom Beach, and Boom Reversal, Beach. Reversal does it on his channel, and I started playing it. And it's actually really fun. It's a variation from Clash of Clans, and it adapts like the war, the war feel instead of. Yeah, I, I'm headquarters at level twelve, on bad games. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm still level six, <laughs> headquarters six. You'll you'll catch up soon. Yeah, it's a fun game. So I wanted to know what's your favorite epics. So one ep one fusible epic, one chest epic, and one um, guild war epic. Oh, okay. I see how this is. Okay, my favorite guild war epic, one that I've always wanted, is Blaze placed on mantle i've always wanted that one and it came out when i first started playing knights and dragons when i was still like level 10 there was a guild war with placed on mantle and i wanted it so badly it looked so nice at that time and right now if i got it like i think it, it would be a, it would be a nice armor but i think with all the new armors it wouldn't do as good but because a trellis skin war gear is a uh, is stronger and another uh, armors. Yeah, my favorite chest epic 
is aquatic battle gear. I don't know why, it just is. Just the way it looks, it just, oh, it looks so awesome. I don't know why. It's my favorite and that's mainly the reason why I got my new account is because it had aquatic battle gear. And my favorite fusible epic is aquatic. Now, <laughs> no, it's actually not. It's Spectre Shroud. Oh. Because I was trying to get Spectre Shroud and I got Komodo instead. <laughs> <laughs> when when those thing when the when the new fusible epics came out. So I wasn't lucky enough to fuse Spectre Shroud, but it is my favorite fusible epic. Just because the way it looks. I, I did the opposite. I, I was trying to get Komodo and I got Spectre Shroud. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so, any more questions or is that it? One last. One so last question. So, what do you think about the new event Orc Horde? The uh, stuff uh, about the epic boss and stuff. I am crazy excited about this this is gonna be crazy by the time you're watching this video it probably has already started but right now when we're recording this it has not started yet it's starting in one hour or something like that yeah um to be honest i think it's a crazy new thing i'm so excited because it's brand new and i think it's gonna make like guild wars i'm sorry Gree, but guild wars is just a battle of who has more gems that's yeah. basically what it is. This thing, I think it's gonna be a lot more friend, like yeah, it's still gonna be about gems and who has more, but I think that some of the weaker guilds can get um, better Higher prizes. Yeah. yeah, because now it's based on damage, it's not based on points. So yeah. I think it's gonna be better. And there's milestone rewards, and there's so many different rewards for so many different things. Mm. So I like I like it because of the rewards, but still, if, if there's a uh, level 10 guild with only a uh, level 20 people, they're not going to do a lot of damage to the uh, bosses. But if it's like a rainbow party or a rainbow rug members, they're probably going to do a lot more. True, true, but I I know what you mean. But still, I think it'll be better than the regular guild war. Yeah, because of the milestone. Yeah, that's gonna be a big part. So uh, t thank you f for your time, uh, T. Joe. Yeah, was, anytime. It was really fun talking to you. And uh, this is going to be it, guys, for this video. So I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet. And go check out T. Joe's uh, channel. He does really awesome Knights and Dragons videos. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.